Women's professional sports in Chicago is on the rise and gaining visibility. The Chicago Force is an all-female tackle football team and is not for anyone afraid of getting hurt, let alone getting dirty. The Chicago Force has come a long way since its beginnings in 2000. Last year, the Force went undefeated and lost in overtime in the playoffs. The team has built up a dedicated fan base and continues to be one of the top five teams in the Independent Women's Football League. Just like any other team, we put in that hard work and we put in that practice and we're sharp, we're a sharp squad. The first thing that usually comes out of people's mouths is, wow, that's, that's real football, like you're really playing. People have this misconception that maybe it's flag or touch or something like that. It's full gear, full contact, knock the snot out of you football. The Chicago Force is in the Midwest division of the IWFL and plays teams from Kansas City, Minnesota, Detroit, Iowa, and Wisconsin during the regular season. In 2009, despite a team that's half made of rookies, they are proud of their rock solid offense. We're known for just playing hard nosed football. We'll run the ball as many times as we have to. You know, one time this year we ran the ball, you know, 50 times. We had 89 offensive plays, and our defense is just a swarming defense. They'll never stop. They play hard all the time. They're going to hit you in the mouth, and they're going to enjoy it. It's very closely aligned to, you know, Midwest football. Blue collar people, we line up, we play football, and let's get after it. I decide to give tackle football a try to see what it's like to play in the Chicago Force. Quarterback Sammy Grisafi gets me geared up so she can give me a lesson on how to fill in as QB for the team. Wow, this, is, this isn't this is light. No. It's got no. some weight to it. You have an extra like 15 pounds that are carrying around. Now this is also going to change the dynamic of your throwing too. Because when you have these shoulder pads on, it's not as easy to get the ball it's as not. high. I feel like my arm is like blocked now. Right, so. your range of motion is going to be a little bit different. I run into what has to be a very common problem in women's football. This is true camaraderie right here. That's right. She's holding my hair back. After the hair is under control and helmet in place, it's time to learn the cadence before I throw the ball. Down! Run 11! Run 11! Set! Go! Yeah, but you gotta see with some gusto. That didn't, what, that didn't have you gusto? You gotta get the guttural in there. It's gotta be like, bam! Down! That's like that. They have to hear you all the way on, the other, on each side of the field. One, two, three, throw! Nice job! After a few more practice throws, I'm ready to go from a bench warmer to a Chicago Force quarterback. Head coach John Konecki describes the play, and I'm ready to go. You want to know how you play quarterback? Pretend yeah. like you know where you're going. Right in the hole. As we huddle up, the reality sets in that there is a team of people on the other side who are ready to crush me. Ready? Force! There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Sit down what? Rip, rip! No! I throw an okay ball, but there's no way I really would have survived. What I would have been down, I would have been killed. Well, a couple people would have been killed. The next time around, the girls were ready to get serious. Woo! Down, red 11, red 11, set, go! Where'd she go? <laughs> Even though they're tough, these girls do have heart and were kind enough to let me run one in for a touchdown. Now I understand why many women who try out for the force soon discover they'd rather sit in the bleachers. I was lucky they took it easy on me. Tackling and necessary roughness is a recipe for injury. But an injury doesn't keep these women off the field. Defensive end Darcy Leslie has played with a dislocated shoulder, an offensive line right tackle Roslyn Bennett with a cast. As you can see, I came up with a fracture, unfortunately from a hit from a helmet face mask. I can play, but the only uh, way I can play is with my cast. My team needs me, and I don't want to let them down. We, we kind of have a saying that you're only 100% when the season starts. When you first walk on the court uh, for preseason and stuff like that, that's the last time you will probably be 100% for the remainder of the season. I mean, you have to keep in mind, we don't get paid to do this, so everybody that's out here is out here for the love of the game. And part of doing that is knowing that you know, this may be your last season to play. You don't know what's going to happen. And so you, you come out and you play. You know, whatever condition you're in, you play. The management of the Chicago Force is as dedicated as the players are to the success of the team. As the level of play in the IWFL improves all around, they say they have to continue to improve as well. We have to continue to have the best coaching available, the best facilities to train in. And it, it's gone from being a seasonal sport to year round. You have to condition, you have to weight lift film study. We do it all. It's This is not a rec league. But win or lose, the presence of a women's tackle football team in Chicago 
gives residents an opportunity to see something new and gives young female athletes hope they can do anything they put their mind to. When you get to go out and work hard and, and see yourself learning with your teammates and see what you can build with your teammates from the beginning of preseason to the end of a season, it's amazing. And no one should ever tell you that girls don't play football. It's an amazing opportunity. And you know anybody that wants to try it, so try it. Don't let anything hold you back. You don't have to play second fiddle to any male due to the type of sport you're playing. If you decide that you want to play something like this, football, which is very strenuous, uh, tedious sport, that you can do it. The Chicago Force football season starts in April and runs through July. Home games are held at the Holmgren Athletic Complex at North Park University on the northwest side. They just hope for even more exposure because they say once someone comes to a game, they're hooked. I love our fans. They adore us and they're so supportive. They love how much heart we put out on that field. Sometimes we're on the sidelines and we're down about plays or about things and they're still back there going crazy. There are a lot of football fans in Chicago who don't know what to do with themselves after the Bears season is over. You can follow us online. People are following us on Twitter. It's old school football. It's playing for the love of the game. You sacrifice a lot, time, energy, money. Obviously, all the women out here think it's worth it. They all love it.